I today a look inside this 3-in-1 Soviet made cockpit instrument. It gives free information, two pressures and one temperature. So it must be about oil and fuel pressure and temperature. I don't know which one it is which. It must be some color code, probably the uh, I should say the uh, yellow one is oil, but not sure if you need to know the fuel temperature, so not sure. So we have this uh, case, regular kind of uh, Soviet round case. It is a bigger size, there are uh, other ones which are smaller, like this uh, thing here, you can see. It is a smaller case, but we will find in this the same uh, and most of the same setups that we have here. Uh, galvanometer and uh, wire wound resistors. So it is the one I did uh, open with uh, fake Dremel. So, but this one is more interesting. And you can see more stuff. So here is how it is. You can see the dial is in three parts, it looks like. On the side, uh, you can mount a uh, clamp to hold it to the cockpit panel. On the back we have three plugs, one for each uh, galvanometer. They are uh, color coded with these nuts, very nice uh, anodized aluminum nuts, one blue, one red and one uh, silver. And here also we have information empty mm and tm. Uh, what else? Manufacturer logo here. I'm not sure if this is a serial number. Does it match? No, there is another serial number written here in the dial. 33186, it looks like. And this is my inventory number. Yes. So. To open this case, it is really simple. You just have three screws to undo all around. There will be a seal, and then it will pop right out. Usually, one of the screws is a little deeper, and they uh, fill the hole with uh, wax to do a tamper-proof uh, seal. Not here. So. Can pull. There is an o ring all around. I need to pass. Okay. No, there are actually two o rings. Spare no expense here. Should be. Okay. Now we are. So, what do we have? You can see, pretty nice setup, lots of uh, similar parts. So, we have three times this uh, galvanometer assemblies, very similar to the one we have here, as you can see, but these ones are in better condition, more shiny. We have uh, a wall bunch of... Uh, in fact, three times the same assembly. No, this one is not the same. Here we have a pack of six wire wound resistors, making some uh, Winston bridge, probably. And here we have four wire wound resistors and two diodes. Here again. So, yes, yeah, so this setup is for the pressure indicator. And this setup with the six resistors is for the temperature indicator. So it will be interesting to check what we have in this one. And in this one we have uh, well a little more than uh, six, but uh, it is quite similar. So there is something fun with this uh, instrument. So first the case, you can see the glass is a uh, prisoner here. There is an internal ring, metal ring, pushed 
and it is uh, keeping the glass in uh, place. It is pressure fit. There is probably a uh, o-ring in the front piece here to keep it uh, watertight. So the fun thing with uh, this instrument is this front piece here. In fact, this piece with the two uh, these two uh, mechanical uh, mechanism covers, hiding uh, covers can pull off and when it is done I can pry open the three parts like so it is really weird so you can see there are little locating pins in order to uh, keep them uh, uh, assembled together and it can even uh, move like so quite uh, weird there is a stuff written here in the middle and in fact the uh, three pieces are mounted uh, on uh, some kind of articulation here they are free to move and it looks like if I uh, cannot undo it because there is a plate here, here which is bent but it looks like if I undo this nut, it will allow to pull out the entire uh, assembly. It is uh, really weird the way it was made. Very interesting. You can see here uh, the inside of the galvanometer movement. It is very similar to the jaws you can find in uh, cars. We have four, uh, an assembly with four uh, coils. This is magnetic shielding probably for the assemblies. There is this metal clamps keeping it in place like uh, so. Interesting. So what I can do, uh, considering that this assembly is very similar, but it's easier to take apart. I will uh, take apart this one to show you. So, I have two screws. In fact, I am not sure if it is necessary. Yes, I must undo them to access the bottom screw. So, no way, I must undo it. Try not to damage this one because it is a beautiful display item. So the dial will just remove like so, as always there is the model number and serial number on the dial. It is just a stamp piece of aluminium. And here we have a better view on the, there are small washers I must not lose. Another one here. So here we have a better view on the uh, uh, wire wound resistance. In this case, the connector is uh, attached to the back piece. Uh, there is no way to remove it. And I will zoom in for you when I undo these two screws. Here we have brass uh, screws. And uh, it looks like uh, either brass or stainless steel hardware or aluminium. So it is all uh, non-magnetic uh, materials, probably to avoid any uh, interference with uh, uh, the galvanometer mechanism here. So it is really a big macro. You can see how it is made here and here. I should be able to pull this piece. Hey, hop. If I remember correctly, ah, there are screws on the back. The two screws to undo on the back. Again, brass screws. So I guess the setup in the three in one instrument is exactly the same. And now I should be able to pull the thing out. Yes. There is some uh, kind of. Uh, insulating uh, sticky tape. We can see we have uh, four uh, coils. Everything is made of uh, 
brass and copper here and in the middle probably we have a magnet so neat and little uh, setup in this piece is uh, seems to be aluminium yes not sure if it is aluminium let's check no it is a uh, this one is steel so it must be uh, for a magnetic shielding probably yes the same on the other one okay so this is interesting and it is quite easy to drive uh, this uh, these things just apply uh, a few volts very few volts and it will move so here it is now i will put this back this one together so so it is just a matter to realign the pins quite delicate because you have to align everything at the same time here we are and in fact this uh, ring piece will really keep them uh, together quite a neat uh, setup on this thing interesting so they did add these extra pieces here to uh, attach the uh, components which we have now here here they are directly mounted on the back piece of the instrument okay so this uh, kind of instruments you can still find them on ebay germany but the price did uh, increase and I did see them uh, usually they are around 50 euros each, sometimes more expensive. My, I have a two or three of them, and I did get them back in the mid 2000 years for a very small price. It was five or ten euros each, something like, like this. But now, uh, price for this uh, kind of stuff uh, seems to be uh, going up. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.